The week of football that we just witnessed will always be remembered as the Jawan Jennings breakout. But he was sitting on your waivers for the majority of the league. So today I want to go through 10 players that can help you either next week or down the line of the season that you need to add right now before it's too late. We're going to start today's video with the man of the week, man of the weekend, rather, in Jawan Jennings. He's only owned in 31% of Yahoo Leagues, 35 in ESPN. Drop a one in the comments if you had him on your roster, and drop a two if you played against him. For me, I can do both, right? Uh, but this is a guy that had a monstrous, monstrous game, excuse me. 11 receptions, 175 yards, three touchdowns, resulting in 46 full PPR fantasy points. The reason I like him is not because he had this magical week. I like him because next week he has the opportunity to give you 12 to 14 fantasy points. They play New England next week. Brandon Ayuk is going to get the Christian Gonzalez matchup. So Jawan Jennings is a guy that's going to be relied on in this receiving game to carry the load, just like he did this past week. Uh, now, again, a, a guy like Debo is going to be out. Kittle is questionable. If he misses another week, this is a smash grab off the waivers, but also start in your lineups next week. Again, Ayuk's going to have the toughest matchup in the league right now. So, Jawan's going to have to carry the load yet again. But, man, 46 fantasy points from Jawan Jennings. Never would have guessed it. W Wandale Robinson. Uh, this is a guy that I've had on every single one of these videos. I will continue to praise Wandale Robinson 11 fantasy points a game this year. Yeah, eight targets a game. So the volume is there. He's not just a big play guy. And this offense is getting better. Daniel Jones just had his best game against my Cleveland Browns last week. Uh, so again, I, it looks like they're heading in the right direction. And Wandale being the slot receiver, uh, for example, I gave him seven receptions for 61 yards last week. It seems like he is heading in the right direction as well. The offense trusts him. And uh, I like the upside in, in a deeper league, in a 12-teamer. If you need to start three receivers, Wandale might not be a bad start on a weekly basis. Let's talk about some Jets here, some New York boys, as we'll start with Braylon Allen. Uh, this is the guy that it looks like it's a 50-50, at the bare minimum, a 60-40 split with the starter, Brees Hall. This offense is only getting better, right? Seems like a trend in New York. But over the last two weeks, a guy like Bray Braylon Allen is averaging 12 touches a game in the receiving and the rushing game, 62 yards roughly, and a touchdown again over the last two weeks. Excuse the sunshine. It just came out of nowhere. But over the last two weeks, again, 15 fantasy points. Braylon Allen has uh, been a man on a mission, and he has been a man amongst boys, which is kind of ironic because he's the youngest player in the league. But I like him for deeper leagues, especially if Brees Hall goes down. Braylon Allen is going to be a tank for not only the NFL, right, but for our fantasy teams. His teammate, Alan Lazard, is on the thumbnail of today's video, and for good reason. And he is just like Jawan Jennings in this uh, regard. Again, he's been killing it the last couple of weeks on the year 13 and a half fantasy points a week. But I like him because next week, if you need a starter, he is a good option. Garrett Wilson's going to have the Patrick Sertan matchup. He's going to be the go-to guy in this wide receiver room. And seemingly on the year, Mike Williams is still ramping up. So uh, in the time being, I like Alan Lazard to have another big week uh, in, in a Nathaniel Hackett revenge game where they're going to want to score tons and tons of points. Demario Douglas staying in the AFC East. Uh, this is a guy that after uh, before last week came out and complained. He said, I'm not getting the ball enough. In short, that's what Demario Douglas was saying. And uh, he had a point. Last year, he was the only bright spot in this New England offense, and he wasn't being used like it this year in this New England offense. Now, uh, again, he complained about his workload, and then he had his biggest workload of the year. Thursday night football, let's not forget. Seven receptions, 70 yards, nine targets, which is huge. Uh, ultimately, 14 fantasy points. And if Jacoby Brissett didn't miss him, he had a touchdown opportunity as well. He's just a Swiss Army knife kind of a player used in a variety of ways, kind of like a Debo Samuel, uh, but of course, to a lesser degree. I just like Demario Douglas, whether if it's Drake May or Jacoby Brissett after a week like last week, it seems like they want to use him in this offense uh, down the stretch of the year. Quentin Johnston uh, finally showing some flashes of why he was a first round pick just a year ago, but 45% of leagues uh, practically on Yahoo and ESPN. So he might not be there, uh, but two straight weeks, five receptions, 51 yards and two touchdowns, then two receptions, 44 yards 
and a touchdown. There's two things that worry about me or that worry me about uh, Quentin Johnston. And it's one, it, his low volume, right? In uh, two weeks ago, he only had six targets. He caught five of them, right? So it doesn't matter uh, if, if he's just catching every single target he has, then he's going to be fine. But for example, just this past week against the Steelers, he only had two targets in an entire game. So again, he had a great, he did the most he could with those two targets. Um, but again, he's, he's the volume is not there. So if some of these targets are off center, right? Or if they're only two or three yard catches, then he's not going to have a crazy big fantasy week. But in a deeper league, if you need a desperate option, Quentin Johnson could be uh, a good option down the stretch. Uh, but also Justin Herbert, he hurt his foot. How good is he going to be going forward? And how healthy is he going to be? Two big questions for this offense and for their options. For the Vikings, we're going to finish off here with two players. Sam Darnold's been a top five quarterback this year, averaging 20 fantasy points a game. He's playing the best football of his career, which is a shocker to a lot of us. Uh, even the Vikings fans that I know, they weren't expecting this great of an offense. Uh, but I mean, hey, 220 yards a game through the air. Three touchdowns a week for Sam Darnold. Again, 20 fantasy points is elite production from anybody. But to expect it out of a guy in a Minnesota offense that nobody drafted, uh, it's kind of crazy the production that we're getting is what I want to circle back to. Sam Darnold, if he continues to play like this, he needs to be on your roster. And also the kicker, Will Reichard, a guy that's giving you nine fantasy points a game the last two weeks, 12 fantasy points a game. He is a top 10 kicker on the year. It's a great offense, apparently. Tons of opportunity for Will to knock through a couple of kicks for us on a weekly basis. And uh, I mean, hey, again, if this offense continues to play like this, you want the options and you want the pieces on that offense. Here is a quick recap here. Top 10 to 12 free agents, I would say, to pick up on or for this week. Uh, now, if you need a defense, I, I would I would have said Cincinnati, but that was before Andy Dalton decided to be vintage Andy Dalton and have a breakout performance so again gauge the defenses take your best guess uh, but I will say again the receivers are a must look at this week and also in the running back room you still got Bucky Irving Justice Hill in the tight end room Zach Ertz has been having a bit of a resurgence this is before Monday Night Football though uh, Brock Wright if Sam Laporta is down with a severe injury Brock Wright is going to be the next man up in a great offense something to look out for in deeper leagues. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We do this every single week. And on Wednesday, we have our week four start or sit decisions. So if you enjoy again, come back then.